guys in this video i'm going to be showing you my very short end of the week routine what i do on fridays to unwind and decompress from a long day of work starting with sneaking into my apartment sneaking into my room so the kids don't see me that way i am uninterrupted while i try to relax and do what it is i need to do before i start parenting for the weekend now i don't always get this time because i may come through the door and make a noise by dropping something or the kids will be right there waiting for me but nine times out of ten i'm pretty good i'm pretty light on my boots when i'm sneaking in so i usually get this time Being in San Antonio, Texas, this heat is no joke. I kid you not, I feel like I can sit around all day and not do anything and I still feel sweaty and sticky. So the first thing I need to do when I get home is get out of this freaking uniform and get my butt in the shower. No, I said shower, but you see me in a bathtub. I know this is my process to showering. I like to sit in a bathtub after a long week of work, just relaxing, relaxing my muscles, relaxing my body and everything like that. I also do all of my shaving and stuff while I'm in a tub and then I move on to my shower. So after some time, my littles do realize that mom is home. And even though my son usually does his own thing until I'm finished doing what it is I need to do, Amia will come busting in with all the forces of the earth behind her, throwing accusations, demands, recommendations, all kind of stuff. Sam as well, she is not innocent here either, but you know, it's fine. I'm a mom, I'm a mom 24 seven. That little relaxation that I mentioned earlier it's usually short-lived. Now that I'm done with my bath, I then move on to my shower, which starts off with me washing my hair. And let me tell you, by the end of the week, my hair is in desperate need to be washed because the way I do my hair is I will leave a style up for a week. So I do my hair on Sunday night. I put it in a particular style and it won't come down until Sunday when I get off work and I start doing my routine. And I do it that way because I'm trying to one, cut back on the amount of time it takes me to get ready. I wanna stop touching my hair so much like all the manipulation because I'm trying to get my hair back healthy and actually grow it out and so far it's just been working for me so just imagine the product buildup that be in my hair after a week of just leaving it put but this works for me After I'm done washing my hair, I then move on to my body and I've been using this body wash for a little bit now, but so far I absolutely love it, especially with my body cleansing brush from Duval. Now let me tell y'all about this brush because Duval sent me their Radiant Skincare System and it came with a body detachment. And I love this thing because the bristles are super soft. They feel really good on the skin, but they're still strong enough where your body is getting a nice exfoliation of the skin. So when I'm done showering, my skin is really soft. It's really radiant and I can honestly contribute that to this brush because I've used towels and I've used loofahs and stuff like that but with this brush you're getting that same effect or benefit you're getting exfoliating the skin on your body that you do when you're exfoliating your face with a brush so I really really like that Now that I'm fresh and out of the shower, it's time to move on to my hair because I like to moisturize my hair while it's still 
damp and I'm using the African Pride Conditioner as well as the Natural Hair Milk by Just For Me. These are Amia's products, but I have discovered that my hair loves these as well. I'm in a process of trying to grow my hair out, making it healthy, and I'm learning what my hair likes, what it don't likes, the different styles, and all that stuff. So that is what I do, and it's just easier to moisturize my hair when it's still damp because it's easier to manipulate versus when it's dry. So that's what I'm doing here. Before I start styling my hair, I like to get dressed in whatever I'm going to have on for the rest of the day or the rest of the night. That way I'm not destroying my freshly done hair because I have to get dressed. On the weekends, I like to put my hair into a low stress style because although those sleek tight buns look super nice throughout the week, they make you look really squared away, really put together. They're really stressful on your hair. And me personally, I noticed that my hair started to break off in the back. So my go-to hairstyles right now is either going to be a high loose bun or my two twists off to the side of my head with a really light ponytail and sometimes I don't put a ponytail in it at all just to give my hair a bit of a break for a few days. We're almost done, I promise, but on to the fun part, my skincare routine. If you guys know me, you know my skin is a very big insecurity for me because I struggle with acne as well as really dark acne scars. But thanks to a few products I've been using, I am turning that around and I really want to tell you guys about my new brush that was sent to me by Duval. I received Duval's Radiant Spin Care System and that comes with four interchangeable heads. So you have the Facial Exfoliation Brush, the Large Body Cleansing Brush, the Facial Cleansing Brush, as well as a Pumice Stone. Now this system and these brushes, you guys know I absolutely love them because I mentioned it earlier when I was using my body cleansing brush. But let's talk about this Facial Exfoliation Brush as well as this Facial Cleansing Brush because man, these things, I love them so much. I've been using these brushes for a little over two weeks and I can already already see a difference my skin is more radiant it's more smooth my pores are smaller I've used brushes before and after I'm done washing my face I will go in with my products and I will get this stinging sensation as if I was scratching my face like if the brush was scratching my face I don't get that with my radiant spin care brush it's smooth on the skin it's really soft it's really gentle and I don't get that irritation even the exfoliation brush with it being rougher than the cleansing brush I still don't get that really bad irritation afterwards and I really appreciate that if you are interested in this brush I'm gonna have everything linked down below and don't worry I got you if you use my coupon code you'll get 70% off all of the facial cleansing brushes and styling tools so you may want to grab that coupon code and head over to the site With this being a Friday after a long week of work, I don't have any plans today except relax with my kids and not do anything. So I just go ahead and throw my night care routine on in with what I'm doing here. So that's why you see me applying my Latisse as well as taking my vitamins and stuff like that. That way I can just get it all out of the way and I don't have much to get up for. And just like that, everything is done and I can finally officially relax, but not without a cup of tea and maybe even a snack before I go and sit on my comfortable bed and watch cartoons. And that is pretty much my end of the week routine. But before I leave, I wanted to say 
guys i missed you all so much and i'm so glad to be back on youtube making my videos feeling inspired and things like that i know i've been absent for a little bit but i had to mentally cleanse myself from my current situation and things that just go on you know sometimes you have a plan in your head on how you want things to go and depending on the circumstances it may not go that way and it's something that you just have to adapt to and deal with so i'll talk about it a little later you know a little later on i'll inform you guys but for right now i'm just celebrating accomplishments achievements overcoming obstacles and so much more I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.